So um, to start off the session, I actually want to share a little quote with you. This is from Pema Chadron. Some people have told me that they find it unnerving to pause. One man said if he pauses, it feels like death to him. This speaks to the power of habit. We associate acting habitually with security, ground, and comfort. It gives us the feeling of something to hold on to. Our habit is just to keep moving, speeding, talking to ourselves, filling up the space. But habits are like clothes. We can put them on and we can take them off. Yet, as we well know, we get very attached to wearing the clothes. We don't want to take them off. We feel as if we'll be too exposed, naked in front of everyone. We feel groundless and insecure and we won't know what's going on. So that quote spoke to me in the sense that in order to create growth, we need to be willing to, first of all, look at things differently and then change our habitual actions. Now, I feel like habits are different from discipline because I feel like discipline is really necessary. And, and even a lot of habits, right? We have a lot of very healthy habits, but there's also nothing wrong with even those, like changing them up every once in a while, just to keep you growing and keep the mind shifting and adjusting. But I think this more specifically addresses those habits that become our comfort zone, that might actually be limiting us from experiencing further growth. And we also have to recognize when we're ready to create that change too, because forcing that change when we're not ready can almost feel too jarring. And so we just withdraw. So recognizing when you're ready to change a certain habit, and it can be something as simple as a belief system, right? Everything starts there in the mind. But when you feel like stuck or you feel like you're leaning more into fear than being willing to kind of step beyond it, and I'm not saying that fear is ever going to completely go away either because it's a good protective mechanism, right? It, it warns us of potential dangers and stuff, but if it's dictating everything that we do, then we need to start questioning that as well. So learning to be honest with ourselves and looking at those things, those habitual beliefs or actions that might be holding us back from the growth we really desire and be willing to make, and it's not, I, I'm not an advocate for ginormous changes, Sometimes they're necessary, but the ones that really stick are those slower, more gradual changes that we can just kind of ease into, right? That feels more natural for us. And that definitely um, paves the way for more sustained um, change and growth. So if right now you're already kind of working on something or contemplating something that you'd like to move towards in your own health journey, um, or maybe it's mental, or maybe it's something to do with your interpersonal relationships. I mean, those are all equated to our health journey, right? Um, maybe start with your thoughts. What is a habitual thought that you have towards that thing that you can slightly shift to make the change a little bit more approachable. Or maybe you want to deal with it more on a physical level. What is a little tiny change that you can make to start moving towards that space of growth? And it's the same thing with our physical practice too, right? I, I know people that they wanna get into physical exercise and they go all out right away and they end up getting injured and they don't go back for a few months, maybe even a year. Right? So it's better to make those very slow but consistent changes. And I feel like those are the ones that really show long-term sustainable growth and results. Okay, so just a little bit of food for thought to chew on this morning. Um, let's, let's first move into that space of mindfulness. So if you're in your seat, feet grounded to the floor, nice uplifted spine. Now, if that's a little bit too much, if you're having back pain, you can soften a little bit, right? You wanna make sure you have a bit of comfort there. And place your hands in a position that feels comfortable. It can be on your lap, it can be on your knees, but allow, again, to be a comfortable position where the shoulders are gently drawn back and stacked on top of the hips. Okay, then 
go ahead and close your eyes. And become aware of your body in space. Keep your thoughts in this present moment. Becoming aware of your natural breath as it moves in and out of your nose. And then start with that body scan. So we do this in order to allow ourselves to really feel embodied, right? Feeling the presence in our physical body. And the physical body doesn't always feel great. That's okay. We settle into whatever we're feeling in this moment in a space of awareness. So start to become aware of the sensation of your feet on the floor. And keep your awareness there. Maybe you want to gradually start to take deeper breaths and almost imagine as if you are breathing into the feet, breathing into the earth. Now, obviously we're not doing that, but it's a shift of your consciousness so that you can really bring your awareness into your feet. And then take your awareness into your legs. Maybe becoming aware of the sensations in your calves, your knees, your thighs, and imagine yourself breathing into your legs. Almost sensing, feeling, becoming aware of the circulation in your legs, the sensation of sitting on your chair, the sensation of your legs as they connect to the hips. And then take your awareness into your hips and settle into your hips a little bit more. Try to even sense that beautiful bowl of the pelvis as it holds your internal organs and feel the breath in that space. And then take your awareness to your lower back. Now, if there is tension there, if there is pain or tightness there, see if you can breathe into that space. And just accept what you're sensing right now. Don't feel like you have to change it or alter it. And then start to move your awareness further up your back, feeling the mid and upper back, even breathing through the front of the chest and try to really feel the sensation of the breath as it expands the rib cage and gently contracts the rib cage on the exhale. Inhale, feel your rib cage gently expand up and out and exhale, feel it gently draw back inward. And then bring your awareness to your fingertips. Feel them gently relax. Maybe they even curl a little bit. Feel a sensation of softening and release as you let go of your arms. See if you can relax your neck, the muscles in your face. And then take your awareness back to the breath and start to take slower, longer, deeper breaths in and out of the nose. But take it at your own pace. What does it feel for you to take a deeper breath? And notice how if you relax a little bit more into your belly and chest, you might actually find that there's more space there and you can take an even deeper breath. So you're not forcing the breath, you're relaxing into the breath. Okay, now we're going to work through a more controlled breath. So we're going to do an inhale for a count of four 
and an exhale for a count of four. Just trying to keep it steady. So start with your inhale, four, three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Take a deep inhale through the nose. And then release it as an exhale out of the mouth. And gently blink open your eyes. Okay. So rest your hands by your sides or place your hands on your chair. Okay, so keeping your hands here. Inhale, look over your right shoulder. Exhale, look forward. Inhale, look left. Exhale, look forward. Inhale, look right. Exhale, forward. Inhale, left. Exhale, forward. Now we're gonna take the right ear to the right shoulder. Inhale, here. Exhale, pick it up. Inhale, to the left. Exhale, lift. One more to the right. Now this time take your right hand to the opposite side of your head and gently pull that ear down without strain. Good. And then draw your chin in slightly. So you're going to stretch the back left side of your neck. Release your right hand down, gradually pick your head back up. Left ear comes to the left shoulder, and then take your left hand to the opposite side of your head. Try to keep your shoulders relaxed here. And as always, keep the breath flowing. And then draw your chin in slightly so you're stretching the back right side of your neck. Release the left hand down, gradually pick your head back up. Pull your chin into your chest, interlace your fingers behind your head, curl into your body, and even try to feel your your pelvis or your tailbone kind of tilt up towards your face as you round and sink in. Let your shoulders go, let your neck go. Breathe into the space between the shoulder blades.
gently release your hands, slowly round it all the way back up. Um, let's do this one supported as well. So hands come back, interlace back behind the head, squeeze your elbows in, and think of lifting up through your chest and even try to gently pull the base of your head up with the belly of your thumbs. So kind of lift up through the base of the neck, lift up through the chest, try to keep the shoulders relaxed. Take it back to center and soften the arms back down. Let's take little circles with the shoulders. And then change the direction of the circles. Good. Release the arms back down. Now you're going to take your left arm up and gently lean over towards the right. Slowly bring it all the way back up. Now twist it to the right. Now twists are really, really beneficial, especially if you have lower back pain, but you need to take them mindfully. So try to think of a slight engagement through the core, lift through the lower back, take the right hand behind you, left hand to the outside of the right leg, gently looking over that shoulder, make sure you have that core engagement and use your breath there. Don't force or strain, just breathe into the gentle twist. Good. Take your time, unravel back to the front. So we're gonna do this in between sides. So your legs are hip width apart and you're gonna take now initially kind of back away from your extent. So just a really soft, gentle forward fold. Let your head go, let your shoulders go. Try to really focus on the breath in your low back. And try to engage the core to lift. Inhale, pull it back up. Now we'll take the twist to the left. So right hand to your left knee, left hand behind you. Slight engagement in the core to support the back and then look over that left shoulder. Breathe into the twist. and gently untwist back to the center. Now we take another forward fold, maybe going a little bit deeper this time, but listen to your body, make sure you can still connect to the breath. Take your time, gently bringing it all the way back up. And we're gonna do that whole little twisting sequence one more time. So left hand to the outside of the right leg, right hand behind you, look over your right shoulder, breathe into the twist. Release, gently untwist back to the center. And then again, gentle forward fold, softening over the legs. Let the head hang, let the shoulders go. Keep the breath deep. Good. 
gently ease back out of it. One more twist to the left, looking over the left shoulder. and untwist back to the center. Now this time, instead of the forward fold, we're gonna move, um, create flexion in the spine. So as you inhale, shoulders back, chest forward, even feel the pelvis kind of tilt back. And then exhale and round, chin in, belly in, press into the shoulder blades. And then reverse it. Inhale, open up into an arch in the spine. And then exhale, round the spine. Let's do it one more time. Inhale, open it up. Exhale and round. and slowly bring it all the way back up. Okay, take your left palm facing out in front of you. Use your right hand and very gently pull your fingertips towards your body as you press your wrist away. Good. And then reverse that movement. So fingertips point down and gently pull the fingertips towards the body, pressing your wrist away. And you can keep a slight micro bend in the elbow. Try not to completely lock it out. Good. And then let it go, kind of shake it out a little bit. And let's do it on the other side. Right palm faces out. And then use your left hand to gently pull the fingertips towards the body. Good. And then point your fingertips down and use your left hand to gently pull it in. Good, release it, shake it out. Okay, interlace your fingers and try to make little circles with your wrists. And then see if you can reverse the direction. let that go really nice okay um inhale reach your arms back up bend did we do the leaning to the side on this side no oh let's do that i went right into the twist i was so excited to twist i'm so sorry i left you lopsided okay let's take the stretch to the left Now take it all the way back up. Hopefully we're feeling balanced. Okay, now reach the arms, bend your left elbow, use your right hand to gently pull either the forearm or the elbow back, whatever you can grab onto. Try to keep the shoulders relaxed and you're trying to get the stretch on the back of the left arm, the chest, Good, and then release that. Sweep the left arm across your chest. Try to grab onto it with the right hand, moving, yeah, more towards the form than the upper arm. And then you can stay there or start to bring your right ear towards the right shoulder. So it continues to stretch the neck as well as the shoulder. And gently pick your head back up, release it. 
Okay, so reach it all the way up. Bend your right elbow, see if you can gently use the left hand to pull that back. Keep the shoulders relaxed. Make sure the breath is flowing. Okay, and then release it. Take that right arm across your chest and gently bring the left ear toward the left shoulder. Um, okay, so now we're gonna focus on the feet. Um, no, you still can't see me. Okay. So with your feet flat on the floor, you're going to come up onto the ball of the left foot. So the left heel is lifted and then lower the left heel down. Left heel lifts and lower. Left heel lifts and lower. Lift and lower. We're gonna focus on that same leg. Now, see if you can lift just your toes. And if you need to, you can give yourself some more space by scooting the foot further out, but you're gonna stay on the heel and try to flex the toes towards you. And then drop it down. Flex the toes towards your face and lower. We're gonna just let go of that one because we're done with that side anyway and we'll go over to the right leg. Lift your right heel, take it down. Lift, lower, lift, lower, last one. Lift it up. Take it down. Good. Now, again, you can give yourself some more space by scooting the right foot a little bit further away from the body. And then even, even if you lift just a little bit, try to flex the toes towards the face. And lower back down. Flex it up. And lower. Two more. Flex it up. And lower. Flex. And lower. Good. Relax it there. Okay. Um, you can keep your hands on the chair um, for support, but we're going to try, so slight engagement in the core, maybe a deeper engagement. We're going to try to lift the left knee and then just take it right back down. For this one, we're going to alternate switching sides. Lift the right knee. Good. And lower. Lift the left and lower. Lift the right. Try to keep the spine the same. Um, try to keep it upright. Try not to round when you lift it. We'll do it a couple more times on each side. Lift, lower, right side, lift, lower. One more left, lift, Lower, one more right. Lift and lower. Really good. Okay. Now keep your right foot um, tracking forward and then open your left leg out to the side, getting as close to a 90 degree angle as you can. From here, you're going to take your left forearm onto your left quad and try to reach your right arm over your ear. And you can bend the elbow. Just try to open your chest and get that stretch from the right side of your lower back all the way up into your armpit. Nice, good. Now let's play with the rotation of the neck a little bit. Look down towards your left knee and then look up towards your right hand. It's okay if you don't get the full rotation. One more time, look down towards the knee and then up towards your hand. Bring your neck neutral and come all the way back up. Good. 
Bring that left knee into center. So now the left foot is tracking directly forward. The right leg now opens out to the side. So you've got a 90 degree angle here, or as close as you comfortably can get it. And then right forearm to your right quad and reach your left arm over. Yes, good. And then we'll play with the rotation the next. So look down towards your right knee. And then gently rotate up towards your left hand or just towards the ceiling. And then do it again. Look down towards the knee. And back up towards the ceiling. And then bring your neck neutral. And take it all the way back up and bring that leg in. Okay. So now we're going to try to get into psoas. So the psoas muscle starts on your lower back and actually connects from the spine and the top of the hip and kind of wraps in front of the pelvis and attaches to the femur. Right, so if you have tightness here in the psoas, it's going to cause back pain. If you have tightness in the lower back, it might cause discomfort in the hips. So it's very, very connected there. And, you know, we, from sitting, from staying crouched forward, that all creates tightness in the psoas. So we're going to do our best to try to get to that. Now, take your left knee out to the side again. And see if you can start to extend that right leg a little further back, right? We're trying to get into the inner hip. Maybe it's a little bit, maybe you can extend it all the way. Good. And then face your left knee. And you can keep your hands on your hips. You can bring them to like a prayer position at the front of your chest, or you can extend your arms up. And if the arms are extended and create strain in the shoulders, you can also bend your elbows. Good. Just take a few breaths here. Gently release your arms down. Drag that right leg back in and then pivot to face bow. Open the right leg out to the right. And then maybe you can extend that left leg a little further back. Maybe it can go for, 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 uh, further back. <laughs> and then try to get those hips to rotate towards that right leg. Either hands to hips or together to the center of the chest or extend them up. Yes. Keep your breath flowing. Try not to hold it. Really nice. Gently release your hands back down. Slowly bring it back to the center and bring your legs together. So take the legs a little bit further out. I'll show a couple different options here. You can bring your right ankle towards the left and then gently press that right thigh out. If you can bring it higher up, you can hook it right onto the knee and gently press the right thigh. So try to push right into the thigh. And then flex your foot if you can, and that'll get you a little bit more, and then make sure that lower back is lifted tall. Really nice. Breathe right there into the hip. and then gently release that leg back down. Now, as always, you can kind of shake it out if you need to get a little bit more release between sides. And we'll take that right leg up, sorry, left leg up to the right. And you can also take it towards the shin or the ankle, but it's the same intention of creating an external rotation in this left hip. And you can do it with or without that pressure, putting, pushing pressure onto the thigh, not the knee. Good. And then flex your left foot, pull up through your lower back, and breathe into the opening of the hip. Good. 
really nice. Gently back out of it. Maybe give it another little shake. Okay, I'm going to bring my chair a little bit closer to the camera. Now, we're going to repeat a couple movements that we did in the beginning, again, to address the entire spine. So, starting with the twist. Right hand behind you, left hand to the outside of the right thigh, look over the shoulders you twist. Maybe the breath is a little bit deeper and it will allow you to twist just a little bit further. Untwist to the front. Now, this time, interlace your fingers, press your palms away from you, round the spine as you tuck the chin in, and really push into your mid-back there. Yes. And then release your hands. Gently bring it all the way back up. One more before we go over to the other side. Maybe grab the back of the chair, shoulders back, and try to create a little arch as you reach up with the chest. Yes, excellent. Gently take it all the way back up. Now let's take our twist to the left. Yes. Untwist back to the front. Another lateral stretch here. Reaching that right arm over as you lean to the left. All the way back up. Right arm, uh, left arm over as you lean to the right. Take it all the way back up. One more little cycle of cat cows, hands to your thighs. Inhale, reach with the chest, pull your shoulders back. Exhale, chin in and round. Open it up again, inhale and reach. Exhale and round. Last time, inhale, reach it up, open. Exhale and round. And slowly take it all the way back up. Okay, so thinking about that, we're going to move into trying to send the breath right into the upper chest. And then as we do, Try to feel that space that you're really feeling a little bit more of that tension, tightness, pain in. Try to imagine it expanding with your inhale and then relaxing with your exhale. And just kind of keep sending that breath right into that spot, okay? So first, just get nice and grounded here. Start to focus a little bit more on your natural breathing. And then move into gradually taking deeper breaths. And try to pinpoint it exactly where you need it in the body. So feel that area expand on the inhale. And then feel something let go on the exhale. And play with that as you keep focusing on deeper breathing.
couple more rounds. Keep thinking of the intention of breathing space and then releasing on the exhale. Gently start to come back into your natural breath. Staying present with your physical body. First of all, acknowledge and honor all that you are right now in this moment exactly with everything that you're feeling and experiencing in this moment. Give yourself that space of self-respect, self-love, self-acknowledgement. And then from that honest, open, loving space of the self, maybe contemplate that little habitual shift that you'd like to incorporate into your life. That simple little change, whether it's in a belief system or an actual physical habit that you have, something that will move you towards your space of growth. And see yourself doing it. And then try to imagine yourself with a continuous follow through of this thought or action. And play with the visualization of the results of sticking to that slight change. Take joy of that accomplishment recognizing that it's really not that far out of reach. And that you are worthy to achieve whatever you desire. Okay. Keeping that in your mind, in your heart. Take your left hand on your heart and your right hand on top of the left. Feel the warmth of your palms connecting you to your heart center. Take a deep inhale into that upper chest area. And then release it in an exhale out of the mouth. Release your hands down and gently blink open your eyes. Namaste.